Hi there, my name is John Maybe, and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about anterior uveitis. So what is uveitis? Well, it's an inflammation of the uveal tract. So when we talk about anterior uveitis, though, this is the most common of the uveitis conditions and involves the iris and the ciliary body. Some of the risk factors associated with the, this condition are the HLA B27 allele, ankylosing spondylitis, and psoriatic arthritis. Some causes include autoimmune disease, infections, tumors, trauma, or even toxins. The clinical manifestations of this condition are shown on this slide. So what do we see? We see acute eye pain, redness, photophobia, blurred vision, and increased lacrimation. So this is a common symptom complex that we see. How about for physical exam findings? We see a decrease in visual acuity. We also see what's called perilimbal injection or ciliary flush. That's an increase in vasculature that we see right around the corneal limbus. We also see meiosis. And on this next slide, we'll see what uh, we commonly find using a slit lamp exam. So we're going to see the presence of cells and flare. So in this picture, we can see the light beam coursing through the um, anterior chamber. And right in the middle of that image, we kind of see um, it almost looks like a night sky filled with stars, right? Right in that middle section. So when we talk about cells and flare, this is the portion that we're looking at. So when you look at that mid portion of that image, the white specks that we see there that almost look like stars, those are the cells. So those are the white blood cells that are floating in the anterior chamber. Also, when you take a look at the background, you almost see like this a smoky haze that that's distributed around those cells. That is the flare portion that we're talking about. So flare is actually an increased protein or exudation that we see also within the anterior chamber. Last, sometimes uh, on the physical exam, we can see the presence of a hypopion. That's an accumulation of white blood cells right? And that base, the inferior portion of the anterior chamber. All right, that wraps it up for this condition. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hippoeducation.com. We'll see you next time.